Okay, in this tutorial, this will be the beginning of making the gingerbread man. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit the 5 on the number pad to switch out of perspective view. And then I'll switch to side view, uh, number 1. And I'm going to scroll in a little bit and hit the Z buffer key, or Z key to get out of Z buffering, so we can just see the wireframe. Uh, and then you notice we're in object mode. I'm going to hit the tab key, which puts us into edit mode. In edit mode, if we hit the A key, that deselects all the vertices, but we're still in edit mode. We can still see the vertices. Um, so I'll stay in edit mode, and I'm going to hit the A key to select all vertices once again, and then the W key to subdivide. So we've just doubled all the numbers of vertices we had in that uh, default cube. Next thing I'm going to do is hit the A key, and then the B key, I'm going to select the left side, and using the X key, I'm going to delete all the vertices on the left side. Next thing I'm going to do is go in and add a modifier. And the modifier buttons are right here, object modifiers. And I'm going to add a modifier for mirror. And what that'll do is recreate exactly anything on this side that we create on the side that we're working on. So I'll use the C key this time just to be a little bit tricky. And uh, hit the escape key to get out of the select mode. Use the extrude button, which is E, to pull the arms out a little bit. E one more time, and that's pretty good for the arms. Might be a little bit long. Maybe I'll just drag that back in a little bit. Hit the A key. Uh, B key once again. I'm going to now make the legs. Extrude. Down come the legs. If you notice, so it forces you to, or constrains the extrude to uh, the Z axis, but we can pull in the red arrow here and widen the legs out a little bit. E key one more time, another extrusion. Again, constrained in the Z axis. We'll widen that out a bit. Extrude one more time for the feet. Widen that out. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we've pretty much got the body done on our uh, gingerbread man. At this point, I'm going to click Apply. And so we've now got uh, an object that, uh, that roughly approximates the outline for our gingerbread man's body. Back to the one to the side view. I'm going to put the cursor, 3D cursor up here. I'm going to go back into edit mode. And in edit mode, I'm going to add an object which will become linked to, uh, to this object. So let's just go back to side view and make sure our 3D cursor is aligned. It looks pretty good. It's pretty much in the center. And uh, actually, we can go in, in object mode. If we go Shift C, that'll exactly center the 3D cursor. And then what we can do is, uh, is add an object exactly in the middle. So tab and then Shift A, and we're going to add a, a cube once again. We'll move it up a little bit, and this is going to be the head, uh, and so there's going to be some overlap, and it'll become obvious why in just a couple of minutes. Let's switch back to the other side view so we can see that the head is aligned properly, which it looks like it is. We'll zoom in a little bit. Shift middle mouse lets you move the, uh, the window to where you'd like to have it centered, and I'll hit the uh, A key, so all vertices are selected, and we're going to add another modifier. And this one is going to be for subdivision surface. And you can kind of see the outline happening underneath. Even if I hit the tab button, you can still see that. Uh, you actually can see it better. We'll set view to 3 and render to 4. And now what we've got, if we switch to, uh, uh, to object mode, you can see that we've got something that is actually starting to look pretty good. We do need to narrow it down a little bit. It's a little bit wide. Uh, so we're going to put the gingerbread man on a diet. And all we do is hit the uh, scale key. But if we scale the whole thing, it's going to shrink it down. I'll hit the escape to get out of that. We want to scale it in just one axis. And so we'll go S. And then we want to scale in the Y. So we'll hit, follow the S key with the Y key. And we can shrink the gingerbread man, in, man down in just one axis. And now we've got exactly what we were trying to get. The outline for our gingerbread man's body.